Well, O'Dirt said Basis. he's the best defensive center in the league, and from what we've seen, I think we're inclined to agree with that. It's hard to disagree with this move. Jin Sanity loses the defender with a. <laughs> it's like they hire people who've never played or seen 2K in their entire lives. Ladies and gentlemen, I came across a video and I thought to myself, what kind of person would I be if I didn't share it with y'all? Before we get to that though, you guys know me so well. Agent Zero, they're calling this a nasty crossover. Hmm. I feel triggered by this post. Me too. It's not even a matter of 2K. This is very clearly a snatchback. It's not a step back. It's not a crossover, it is a snatchback. If you look in the NBA dictionary or the basketball dictionary, it's on the front page, snatchback. How could you, how could you, how could you operate the 2K League Twitter page and not know that? It'd be like if I ran a book club and I didn't know the definition of literature. It might cause some tension between the other members of the book club because they'll start to question my IQ. Further proof that 2K is run by people who put millions <laughs> I'll be sure to remember this crazy dribble combo for the next 2K League Combine. Now all I need is a lag switch and I'm a shooter. <laughs> okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's take a look. Best of NBA 2K League handles so far. Radiant. All right, rhythm dribble. Snatch. Rhythm dribble. Nice. Said I ain't just a shooter, I could drive that thing home too. That alley was gonna go. Nice. Like a pro. Like that, and that's one of the things to a lot of guys who run shows. Whoa, whoa, really oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Get let's get a bull by. Can we see a bull by? Now. Let's go, let's go. Get a blow by, get a blow by. Snatch back alert. <laughs> yes, yes, good move. He called green. He called green. You see where I'm going with this? 50% of this is snatchbacks. The funny part is, is I played against a lot of these guys and or seen them play on Twitch. These guys are really good. Like if you run up on them in the regular Pro-Am, chances are you're getting sauced, my guy, especially if you're Elite 5 and under. But they've been like, they've almost been nerfing dribble moves like, ah, and just slowing people down for the last few years to the point where everybody just does the same two or three rhythm dribbles. Everybody does the same one or two crossovers. And then you have a league where the best handles Looks so identical, there's no standout player. It's part of the reason why in that tweet where Mike Wang put out that poll asking people, do you want 2K to be more realistic, Sim, or do you want 2K to be more arcadey, fun? I voted more arcadey, fun. I don't even have to read the comments to know they're gonna be funny as fuck down there. LMAO watching this and noticing the terrible defense made me realize how butt cheeks it is. Interestingly enough, the NBA 2K League players do not, I repeat, do not play on LAN. They play online, hosted in a private server. So they still have latency, which I didn't know until I played the actual league build, but I guess 2K hasn't set up the infrastructure just yet, so I could I could, I could, could give them a little bit of break if they're playing online. That back cheese, left, right, it's not a step back, it's a snatch back. See, but the problem I have is that when people see videos like this, they automatically assume what this guy did. This game is not hard, anyone could be in the league. Now, I do agree, this game's skill gap is nowhere near a lot of games like Rainbow Six, CSGO, even Fortnite, PUBG, doesn't even come close. But, not anybody can be in the league. Now, if you've played against a lot of these guys on the Pro-Am circuit, especially before the NBA 2K League began, you, chances are, my guy, you were getting murked, right? We were going up against eighth, like I have a whole series playing against some of these top 50 teams and they come with the heat. Cause Gavin, little old Gavin here, he would lose by 60 points to any top 100 team. So the real question is, why, why does it look like that? Why does 2K give off that vibe like anybody could just pick up the sticks and then immediately become the top 102? They nerf this and buff that and everything they do is in the name of balance and or realism. Okay, let's make a bet between me and you because I haven't watched this far in the video. I guarantee you two out of the next five clips is gonna be snatchbacks, all right? So let's watch. And I get, and this is the best of the dribble moves they compilated together. So just imagine what the other dribble moves look like. And now they got the lead. Okay, clip number one, snatch back. I'm one for one so far. It was just a simple snatch back. Okay, behind the back, rhythm dribble. Hippity hop action. No snatch back, I'm one for two. 
I'm one for two. All right, here we go. Clip number three. Good shout out to Steve. The 76ers gaming are tough. These guys is nice. Momentum cross inside, pick and roll action. All right, I'm one for three. One of these next two have to be a snatchback. Here's Jin. He loves doing snatchbacks. I know this guy. Here we go. Snatchback. Two for four. Keep in mind, this is the best dribble moves in the league. Not the average ones or the worst ones. Larry just did some left stick cheese. Nice little move there. All right, I was correct. Two for five. And it wasn't a snatch back comboed with something, maybe a spin move or momentum or something that requires skill. It was just a snatch back. Let's explain how easy that is, ladies and gentlemen. If you need a snatch back tutorial, click up on the right stick, click R2. Click back on the right stick. You've accomplished a snatch back, ladies and gentlemen. And then folks like Gavin are gonna be like, yo, I could do that move, put me in the league. But we all know if Gavin played in a competitive game, He'd probably be the pylon sitting in the corner getting beat on defense 24-7. Okay, by contrast, let's look at this 2K15 montage from I Run You. Look at the, look at that, look at that! Oh my, do you guys remember when you didn't have to lean on every shot, when you could dribble and just pull up for a in regular shot, do you remember? Now when you're playing 2K, you have the momentum this way, and then you have to like wait on the spot, so you don't lean. You don't want to lean like this and shoot the ball, because your percentages are gonna drop, and then it's not gonna be a good shot, and the timing is gonna be off, so you wanna, you wanna just <clears throat> go this way, and then, Kobe, like, like that. But back in the day, bro, before they continued to nerf stuff, nerf, 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 you could just go up for shots after dribble moves. Ladies and gentlemen, do you hear the music? This, I feel like Donkey Kong is gonna come out out of nowhere. Look, look at the hippity hop action, cross to the right and step. Do you remember the hesitation one step back move where you pop, pop, like, do you, do, you guys, do you guys remember when that was in the game? And they took it up for 2K18. It was in 16, it was in 17. They took out all of the step back moves. Now the only step back you can do is the gather step back when you click the square button. And if someone is close to you, like this close to you, you'll turn the ball over 100% of the time. It's crazy. I get it. I understand 2K is a casual game for the casual demographic. But 2K, if you're gonna go heavy into esports, you're gonna have to nerf snatchbacks you gonna have to nerf blow -bys. Those are two moves that take very little skill but always have incredibly effective results. I wanna be able to see the shot meters when I'm, when I'm watching these guys shoot. Like I need to know if they put up an all white or a green. This is a very big difference. One means they just tossed the shot up and then rolled some dice and hoped it went in. The other one means they had a perfect release and there's a difference between the two. To the NBA 2K League's credit, like not only have they went from broadcast mode to 2K cam, listening to feedback, but on top of that, they're making changes. Like now on the top of the screen, they have face cams of the players. They they now, on top of that, literally like two weeks ago, they added in like in-game comms so we can hear their communication during timeouts and stuff. So there's the, the production level is fantastic. But we're gonna have to do something about this because if you called it a step back, I might be like, okay, you're, you're a new basketball fan, you might not have heard. But a crossover is, like, that's not even remotely the same thing. That's like calling an 18-wheeler a sports car. Like, it's it's off. It's just off and it's not even close. Let's listen to some Donkey Kong music, watch some NBA 2K15, and let the rest of the video ride out. Look at that. Behind the back move. Okay. Wow. Pockets. Green. 